You say that it may take the economy four years to recover to where it was pre-virus. Um, but the Fed is very clearly backstopping the financial markets, reiterating its support, clearly indicating it is willing to do whatever it takes. So given all that, how should your pessimistic outlook be reflected in asset prices that's going to be continued to be propped up by the Federal Reserve? Sure. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting, Scarlett, because uh, there are a number of ways to come at this. Uh, <clears throat> the first is to say, well, if, you know, we're going to live in this, this, this era of very low interest rates, then maybe a multiple of 25 or 30 times on stocks is, is uh, realistic. Um, you know, I, I don't think anybody's really at this point making that, uh, that value judgment. Um, and and uh, the, the likelihood that, uh, uh, that the Fed is going to be able to jumpstart this economy uh, with extremely accommodative uh, monetary policy, I think, is remote. Uh, you know, I frequently say this is not the kind of stuff that monetary policy was designed to do. Monetary policy is designed to keep credit flowing and, and keep markets functioning. Uh, it's not there there to stimulate growth. It's not there to, to deal with really what are fundamental structural issues that, that belong in the domain of, of uh, Congress.